special guest with us tonight. Uh, the new CEO of our Boys and Girls Club, Miss Judy Hardest, is here with us tonight, and we've asked her to come just uh, introduce herself since she is new to our city and our community, and we'll be uh, working with our, our youth at the Boys and Girls Club, so we'd like for her to just to briefly tell us a little about, about herself, and uh, so we can officially welcome you to Douglas, and I'm glad to have you tonight. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor and Commissioners. Uh, it's a pleasure and honor to be here uh, in the city of Douglas to serve the children and the families in this community. Uh, my name is Judy Artis and I am the new CEO of the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, I'm originally from Jamaica, so sometimes my English may not be that good. And I don't know if anybody has perfect English these days. Uh, but I also speak Spanish. My father's Cuban and my mother's Jamaican. So I, does that make me like a little mutt? Is that what I am? <laughs> I'm a little mixed up. But uh, uh, I'm hoping to uh, I've been with the Boys and Girls Club of America 22 years um, in many different capacity. I hailed this time from uh, Texas, uh, Arlington, Texas, right between uh, Dallas and Fort Worth. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, our focus at the Boys and Girls Club is our three priority outcome areas, which is academic success, healthy lifestyles, and character leadership. So a lot of the programs that we will be doing will be focusing and strengthening our kids and our community in this area. It's my hope to work with the school district and local officials that the kids will leave high school with a life plan, whether it's to go into secondary education, whether it's into the workforce, or go into the military. Uh, we believe that that's the only three positive things that they can do once they receive their high school uh, diploma. So we will work uh, tirelessly to make sure that every child that comes through our, our organization leave with this plan and we create uh, roads and segues for them to get there. Any questions? No okay. Thanks. Well, thank you. Uh, we're all very concerned and, and uh, excited about having our Boys and Girls Club here in Coffee County because we everybody understood there was a need, and uh, we thank you for coming and wanting to be a part of that, and we look forward to great things from our, our Boys and Girls Club, and uh, if we can help our at-risk youth or any youth to make a decision to head in the right direction, uh, that is a very positive for all of us in our community. So we thank you for coming and being a part of us and look forward to working with you. Well, thank you, and thank you in advance for your continued support. Thank okay. you. Appreciate thank you. Come back anytime. We'd love to have you. Thank you. Okay. And next item of business is to discuss the Historic Preservation Committee Commission vacancies. Uh, Ms. Dale will make an announcement regarding those vacancies. Okay. We have two vacancies on the Historic Preservation Commission, and anyone interested in serving on the, um, commi the Historic Preservation Commission, there are some code requirements. And all members must reside in the city of Douglas and shall be persons who have demonstrated special interest, experience, or education in history, architectural, or preservation of historic resources. Uh, we'll advertise these two positions for the next two weeks. Uh, applications can be picked up here at City Hall, and um, we welcome anybody's um, interest in serving. Okay. Thank you, Dale. Mm -hmm. uh, it is an important part of our community that we preserve our history, and so uh, if you're interested in that, please uh, take advantage of such, and please come by and get an application and, and complete it, and we will consider that next uh, next meeting. Uh, next item is to discuss the Heart to Heart 5K run for the hospital, and uh, Mr. Roger Gardner will bring that forward. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's a recommendation that the City Commission approve the request from Coffee Regional Medical Center to allow use of certain public streets in the proposed route to host a Heart to Heart 5K run slash walk event on Saturday, February the 21st, 2015, and that the Police Department provide assistance with the traffic in the busy traffic areas. I've heard the recommendations. Our motion. So, motion by Commissioner Swain. Is there a second? Second by Commissioner Moore. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. WDTV 13. Programming is sponsored by Fletcher Oil Company. Since 1966, has been supporting local activities and a proud sponsor of community programming on WDTV 13. Fletcher Oil Company is a member of the Women's Business Enterprise National Council. Harper & Company Builders, serving Douglas and Coffee County for 29 years. And a proud sponsor of community programming. Dewey Hayes Jr., Attorney at Law. 
selected to the top 100 trial lawyers in the state of Georgia. East Coast Asphalt, we top them all and thank you Coffee County. Statewide Engineering, a proud sponsor of Douglas and the Coffee County community. Bosch Riders and Roscoe Allen Company, the Bosch Riders serving the Coffee County community for over 20 years. 100 Men in Black and Roscoe Allen Company. 100 Men in Black working to bring unity to our community since 2002. You're not who you used to be. And neither are we. With a caring staff, experienced doctors, and the most advanced technology, Coffee Regional Medical Center in Douglas, Georgia, is better than ever before. It's on our work session items at this time. Uh, this time we call on staff for comments. Uh, for any staff, <coughs> we'll have some announcements. Ms. Patty, I think you're here. Uh, from announcements from the Public Affairs or Public Information Department. Good afternoon, Mayor and Commissioner, and all of our guests. Uh, just uh, briefly here, just go through some um, upcoming community and city events that will be taking place. Uh, just want to remind uh, the sixth grade students that happen to be listening to the program here. Uh, we are currently uh, doing the If I Were Mayor essay contest. Uh, essays uh, may not be longer than 350 words. They can be either typed or handwritten. Uh, they must be legible and have the student's name and school uh, on the essays. Uh, this is for uh, any child that is in the sixth grade, including homeschool students. Uh, just a reminder, the deadline to submit essays will be on February the 27th for anyone requiring more information on uh, if I were mayor essay contest uh, they can call us at our office at 912-383-0277 another reminder um, Heritage Station Museum uh, this month being the month of February is known nationally as celebrate black history month uh, we do have a temporary exhibit that is now up at the museum it will be there until February the 28th uh, each Saturday throughout the month of February, some special programs um, have been planned. Uh, Friday, um, excuse me, on Saturday, February the 14th, uh, the topic will be performing arts. Saturday, February the 21st, will be uh, a book signing with several uh, of our local Coffee County authors, African American authors. And then on February the 28th, it's churches and cemeteries. All programs will start at 1 p.m. on each Saturday. Uh, uh, for more information on those programs and the temporary exhibit or how you can actually become a volunteer for the Coffee County Historical Society, uh, they can be reached at 912-389-3461. Uh, just want to remind everyone the next community uh, jump drop-off day is scheduled for Saturday, February the 21st. This will be from 8 a.m. until 12 noon. Uh, location site will be located at Wheeler Park at West Gordon Street. Uh, this is drop-off collection only. Proof of residency is required. Um, if you need more information on a list of items that are non-acceptable, uh, feel free to call 912-389-3451. One Jacob, I've lost Jacob. Three four five zero. Three four five zero. Sorry, we was missing the digit there. Uh, just moving on uh, to let everyone know, February the twelfth, um, a work of heart cardiac rehabilitation open house with Coffee Regional Medical Center uh, Wellness. Uh, center. They will be doing an uh, uh, open house on this day from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. For more information, you can call 383-6988. Uh, February the 20th has been set aside for Rockin' Red Day. Uh, this is a day that we do encourage everyone to wear red, uh, being that February is known as Heart Month. Uh, this is for Heart Disease Awareness Month. 
uh, February the 15th um, at Aniston's Restaurant. Country music artist Tim Hadler uh, will be performing there. This uh, proceeds from this concert will go uh, to veterans um, who <coughs> are suffering from some difficulties after they come back from actually serving over in Iraq. Uh, for more information there, you can purchase your tickets at North Shoe Store or Aniston's, and that will be uh, a number to contact. There will be 383-0794. And on February the 24th, 21st is the Heart to Heart 5K Run and Walk. Uh, this is hosted by the Coffee Regional Medical Center. And for more information, you can call 383-6988. Uh, just one other quick reminder, uh, Public Information Department along with the City of Douglas and all other departments along with the City of Douglas, we are gearing up for our Bikes, Blues and Barbecue Festival. The dates will be on Friday and Saturday, April the 10th and the 11th. We are currently accepting exhibitors and vendors and uh, we're seeking volunteers to help with this event. So for anyone uh, that needs more information on the upcoming event, please feel free to call us at our office at 912-383 0277 or you can go to the City of Douglas website at www.cityofdouglas.com uh, hit the visitors toolbar drop down and you can click on Box Blues and Barbecue Festival and you can find out all the details and information there. Thank y'all. Thank you Ms. Patty. Thank you. Might have a question for Patty. Okay. Anyone else? Roger. Yes, yeah, so I would just like to remind all the businesses uh, that business license or occupational tax certificates are due by March the 1st or you will accrue a 10% uh, penalty. So they were, well, they come due January the 1st, but they're late after March the 1st, which is coming up here shortly. <coughs> Thank you, Roger. Thank you. Chief? Mayor Commission. Uh, just real briefly, uh, the Douglas Police Department is revamping its neighborhood watch program uh, within the city of Douglas. We are looking for uh, neighborhoods to set up uh, neighborhood watch uh, programs uh, to deal with their crime issues and improve quality of life in those. And it's it's a partnership program that we do with the uh, citizens here. If uh, anybody out there is interested in setting up a neighborhood watch program, I ask that they call Commander Bart McCulloch at the Douglas Police Department with Professional Standards and Training division at 260-3616. That's 260-3616. We are really trying to get this program back up. Uh, we used to have about 12 uh, neighborhood watch programs up, but that's dwindled back down to three now. Uh, it's really a good opportunity for us to partner with the uh, uh, people here and improve uh, those neighborhoods out there so I encourage them to call us and let's get that going. I also want to kind of go ahead and hit the tips line. We've had really good success with the tips line uh, with the City of Douglas. We encourage residents to continue to use that tips line. Uh, that number is 260-3600. Uh, if you have information on illegal activity within your community uh, or if you have information related to a crime that we're investigating, please contact us at that number if you want to remain anonymous and we'll follow up on that information. Thank you. Okay. Did you want to make the announcement about Chief White completing the arson? No, that's, uh, that's another time. Robert Sprinkle. Okay. Sprinkle. Got it. Okay. <laughs> That'll be next month. I'm okay, I mean, next I just want to yes. make sure we got it. Yeah, any other staff <coughs> this time? Okay. This time we'll open up the floor for comments from the audience. Anybody in the audience would like to make a comment, please go to the microphone, state your name, and if anyone represents you on the commission. Okay. Hearing none, we will move on into our mayor and commission their comments. So, Commissioner Pearson, would you begin, please? Oh, thank you, Mayor. I don't have anything. I'd just like to tell everybody Happy Valentine's Day okay. this coming Saturday. I got that one down, too. Okay. Right. <laughs> I don't have anything. Thank you. Commissioner. Mayor Pro Tem? No, thank you. Commissioner Moore? No, sir. Mr. Swain? Uh, just to follow up on Chief. Chief, that's a good idea to, to try to uh, revamp that uh, neighborhood watch program once again. Uh, and, citizen, we need your appreciate, uh, participation in this to kind of make that thing work. Yeah, I think it's a good, good idea, good plan uh, to kind of keep some of the uh, things like uh, your neighborhood. I appreciate the work for that. Thank you. Okay. Mayor, thank I you. did forget one thing. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'd like to uh, thank Ms. Artis for coming here yeah. And, yeah. and welcome her to the city of Douglas and look forward to working with you. Yes. Thank you very much. 
Okay, uh, I'll, I'll too again would uh, welcome Miss Artis. I'm glad to have you in our community. Um, please feel free to come by anytime, and if we can help anyway, let us know. Uh, Steve, Cho, my, Steve Chief stole my thunder. Stole my thunder. <laughs> I, got, I always have, I always promised him I'd always say about the tip line. So if see something, say something. Uh, campaign, uh, please uh, take advantage of that. Two six zero thirty six hundred. This uh, month also, uh, no, I think February twentieth, Patty. If I'm, my memory serves me correct, is Arbor Day. Uh, yeah, February twentieth or twenty first. Yes, that is, is correct. It is. But 